welcome back everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Chef Puff. We always bring you the good stuff. All right, today we're gonna to be making a chicken pot pie. All right, uh, it's very straightforward. Um, I've been making this for years. All right, the ingredients on this chicken pot pie, it varies. It's either you can cut your vegetables if you like, your fresh vegetables, or you can go ahead and buy the mixed vegetables in the bag, which I prefer this, all right? They already chopped the perfect size for a chicken pot pie, all right? And we're gonna be using flour. We're gonna be using uh, chicken stock. We're gonna be using unsalted butter, uh, puff pastry, olive oil, salt and pepper, heavy cream, parsley, and I am going to be cutting up some um, some celery stalks here, and one onion, and one egg. The egg is for uh, for browning purposes uh, to make your crust, you know, you know, nice and crusty. So that's what that's what the egg is for. All right. So let me get all this set up here, and uh, let's start start making some um, chicken pot pie. All right, let's get started with the chicken here. Okay, the first thing we need to do, make sure you clean your, uh, your, uh, your, um, your, ch your chicken breasts because you're gonna be using chicken breasts. Okay, matter of fact, you can use thighs, um, thighs, if you wanna use thighs, you like that, that flavor. I usually use chicken breasts. All right, they're slightly frozen, which I like them to be a little slightly frozen. All right, so I can cut them into bite-sized pieces. Now, if you ever had a, uh, a chicken pot pie, uh, you know what kind of pieces of chicken that's in a chicken pot pie. So, like this little flat piece here. You know, so. I'm going to get rid of that. Alright. Cut that in half. Because they're going to be loaded with chicken. I'm not skimping on the chicken. Definitely not going to skimp on the chicken. But I am going to cut them into squares, as you can see here, the thickness on that. So that's cool. All right. But I'm gonna, I'm be doing, I'm gonna be doing a double batch today. So you can never get enough of chicken pot pie. It's definitely a comfort food. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish cutting up this chicken. And I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, everybody. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the, ve the veggies ready. Some of the veggies ready. So i got a couple of stalks. I think it's, but remember, I'm doing a double batch. But I am going to put it in the notes for the single batch. All right. So I just want to get all my prepping done. This recipe, I do not want the, the leaves. What I want to do with this here, and next I'm going to just do the onion, and then we move on from there.
I can't believe I'm having so much trouble with this onion. <laughs> can't believe I'm fighting with the onion. All right, I'll be back as soon as I get this onion peeled. All right, now I'm, I, I finally got the onions peeled. All right, I don't know why it gave me such a hard time here. All right, I'm going to be doing two large onions. All right. I sh okay, so I got uh, this other half of onion to do. I'm going to do it, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Uh, the ingredients that I'm using, I'm using about between five to six pounds of chicken breast, cubed up, chopped up. I'm using two onions, salt and pepper, four celery sticks, unsalted butter, parsley, flour, heavy green, heavy cream, oil, and the mixed vegetables here. But like I said, you can actually mix your, you can cut up your own vegetables if you like. This is easier to do it the easiest way. All right, I already took the liberty of putting oil in the pot. So what I want to do now, I want to get my chicken in the pot. All right. A lot of chicken gotta go in. Alright. Wanna get the chicken, gotta get my little pieces in. Alright. Alright, now all I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cook this chicken until it's done. But right now, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna add me some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna, at this point, I have to be very generous with the salt and pepper because there's a lot of chicken in here. You're gonna be leveling your seasoning all the way through this course here. All I'm gonna do now is just let this chicken cook and we'll be I'll be back with the rest of the process. All right, I already took the liberty of pouring the onions in, the diced onions in. Now I'm gonna add uh, the celery. All right, give it a nice good mix. And it's starting to smell real good right about now. And I'm going to continue cooking this until the vegetables start to get translucent and uh, and the onions start to get translucent and soft. Alright. So I'm going to continue to cook. Uh, I'm going to continue to cook and let them let the chicken get all cooked and nice and the vegetables nice and, 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 and soft and uh, after that, I'll move on to the next, um, the next, um, process. So I'll be right back. Now, what I'm going to do now, I have a large bag of mixed vegetables. All right. 
You need your mixed vegetables for the chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna put this whole bag in. All right. And we're gonna give it a nice, good mix. All right. It was like I said, I doubled up on the recipe. But I, what I want, I want to have a piece of chicken in every bite. Let me let this finish cooking and um, when I'm ready, I'll move on to the next step. I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, everybody? Okay. Oh, she's looking real good now. Oh, yeah. Now, what I'm going to add now, I'm going to add the butter. All right. Now, I am going to get this all melted down. All this butter. Butter makes everything better. But remember, I'm going to keep reminding you, this is a double batch. Okay? It will be in the, in the, in the descriptions uh, on a single batch. Alright? If you ever want to make a double, you just double up everything. Alright? So, I shall return after the, for the next step. Alright everybody, now what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add the flour to the mixture right now. But when you add this flour, you make sure everything gets nice and coated in here. All right. So, because basically you're almost making like a roux. All right. And it's going to thicken up on you. Everything gets nice and coated in here. Okay, now next what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the chicken stock. Alright, so I'm going to get this all mixed up. I'm gonna let it come to a boil, and I shall return. All right, um, I'm gonna put the last last of my ingredients in now. Now what I'm gonna put now is the heavy cream. Gotta get that heavy cream in. All right, and also the parsley. All right, now I'm gonna give it a nice, good mix. And I can just tell you, this smells so good. I can't wait to dig in. Mm. Now, all I'm gonna do now is I, I need this to thicken up so now we just let it do what it set what let it do what it has to do and uh after it starts thickening it thickening up um i'm gonna give it a taste if i need more salt or more pepper i will add to it so i'll be right back all right everybody what we're gonna do now i'm gonna be using this pie dish okay but you know if you go to the store and you buy chicken pot pies you buy certain ones they don't have the crust at the bottom. Mine is gonna have the crust at the bottom. I need my crust at the bottom. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna spray this down here.
There we go with some pan. Okay. Now we're using puff pastry. So if anybody ever used puff pastry, you gotta be very delicate with this. Very delicate. All right. Got a lightly floured surface. All right. Now, what I want to do, I want to get this about to 11 inches. That's what I want to do, 11, 12 inches. And if it starts to stick like that, I don't want to make it too thin, but I do want to make it big enough where I have no problems of putting it in this pie shell and overlapping the lip. And it seems like I'm there. Just be gentle with it, just work with it. She'll go where you want it to go. All right. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I'm going to preheat. I want to get this dough a little crispy, not a whole lot, but a little crispy. I don't want my dough to be soggy. That's the word I'm looking for, soggy. All right. So, she wanted really good, really nice. All right. So, what I'm, like I said, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna have to, I have to wait till the oven preheats to 400 degrees. And uh, when that happens, I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to put my pie shell into the oven for a few minutes. All right, I'm not trying to cook it. I just want to get it a little crisp. That's all I want to do. So once it's done, um, I shall return. All right, everybody. I got the crust the way I want it to be. All right. Now let me remove it from the oven. Let's let it sit down here. I'm gonna keep the oven at 400 degrees because she will be going back in. All right. But if you come over here and you look, very lovely. And here's your chicken pot pie. All right, here's a question for you. Is it a stew? Is it a pot pie, chicken pot pie, or is it a soup in a chicken pot pie? Leave it in the comments to let me know, all right? So, I just say it's a chicken pot pie, it's not a soup. All right, so. Put that back on. I'm actually gonna turn it off. It's done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my area for the next step. I'll be right back. All right, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna make the top for the chicken pot pie. So basically the same thing. I wanna get it at least 11 or 12 inches. All right. Because I need it to overlap.
All right, now that looks pretty good there. I do say so myself. Now, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna fill this pie crust up with the chicken pie pie. Move it over to here. All right. Well, let me get a ladle. All right. And here we go. And we just start ladling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I want to fill this all the way to the top. All the nice veggies. Now this is a meal. Now in a single serving, you can actually make this one pie or what I plan on doing later on in the little individual aluminum pans. Same way I did this one, I'm gonna do it with these here and freeze these. All right, so whatever I want me a, a chicken pot pie, I got one. All right, you just keep filling them up. And I think that's about it for that. Now, what I'm going to do now, get my dough rolled up here all right bring my pie back into the picture here nope didn't work out too good that way i'm just gonna have to pick it up just be careful there we go there we go. Very nice. Now what I want to do, I want to cramp it. Okay. I like doing it with my fingers first. Oops. And now I'm going to make it look pretty. Now this is gonna go onto a cookie sheet at 400 degrees until golden brown. I am going to actually cut off the excess dough because we don't need it. Just take your time. Yeah, I'll do better with scissors. Still leave, leaving an overhang.
Over here. All right. Now I got my cookie sheet. There we go. Now, for the next step, very simple. Okay. One egg, okay, one egg, and I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Give this nice little mix here. Just start brushing. Just like you're painting. Okay, now the last thing I have to do, I'm not an artist, so I'm not even gonna try to be an artist. Uh, some people like to put a design, oh, no, not me. All I do is, that's what I do. All right, so now I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees and I'm gonna cook it until it's golden brown. See you in a little bit. So, once again, I'll be right back when the pie, when the chicken pot pie is All done. Right, everybody, um, I also had just a little bit dough left to add to the bottom of this pan and for the top here. But this is what they look like. All right, I already filled it up. So I'm just gonna take the top here and put the top on. And you have a chicken pot pie a personal chicken pot pie just for yourself but you can make a you can buy these um and you can make as many as you want and freeze them and then once you freeze them then then you're going to wrap them up very tightly and they should last for a good long time in your refrigerator in your, excuse me in your freezer all right so like i said it's the same thing before always this is my signature thing here. <laughs> so you do this so they won't explode. That's the reason why you, um, just when they start bubbling up and everything else. All right, so uh, I shall return uh, when the pot pie is done. Welcome back everybody. All right, the chicken pot pie is done. All right, she looks real good. Nice and flaky uh, top, very nice, very nice. Oh, right, I'm gonna let this cool down before we even attempt to cut into it. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. All the ingredients will be in the description. Uh, so once again, if you like this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and ring the bell. I would really appreciate it. And so we can do more videos like this. And uh, y'all guys, have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.